I've got a story to tell you about one of the coolest people in mathematical history. Sit down and let me tell you a story about Sofia Kovalevskaya, who was by all accounts the first major female Russian mathematician. Sofia was born on January 15, 1850, to Vasily Korvin Krakowski and Yelitsveta Schubert. Young Sofia was always a rebellious child who fought against the norm. This middle child proudly raised her middle finger against gender roles and what she wanted to do with her life. Sophia wanted to study mathematics. Her father Vasily, a lieutenant general of artillery and mother Yelitsveta, a privileged German scholar, fostered her knowledge of math. Both of her parents understood the value of having a privileged education. When she was 11, she used textbook pages from a calculus book as wallpaper and used the wallpaper to study derivatives and integrals. Aged 11 years old. But unfortunately, as she grew older, she did not have the resources to continue her education. In order to study abroad, she had to have the written consent of a parent or partner. This is when she met Vladimir Kovaleski. They entered into a fake marriage and left Russia in 1867, when Sofia was only 17 years old. As a side note, Vladimir would go on to become a famous paleontologist who collaborated with Charles Darwin. Sofia moved to the University of Heidelberg in Germany, where she was reluctantly allowed to take high-level math classes. During her time there, she became acquainted with a woman named Mary Evans and her colleague, Herbert Spencer. Herbert Spencer was a tad bit sexist, as was the style of the 1860s. Herbert started a debate with Sophia on women's capacity for abstract thinking. Herbert was all, women are actually the worst. And Sophia was all, excuse you? And Herbert was like, can you even think about anything beyond cleaning the kitchen? And Sophia was all like, all right, Herbie, I'm not even here for your sexist opinions. I'm out. So Sophia went on to prove Herbert wrong, writing three theses, one on the dynamics of Saturn's rings, one on elliptic integrals, and one on partial differential equations. Her papers were deemed so intelligent that the university decided Sophia had earned her doctorate in mathematics summa cum laude. Yeah, Herbie, you want to take that? You want to take that, Herbie? Got something to say? Sophia was the first woman in all of Europe to hold a doctoral degree in mathematics. She preferred her gender roles served hot and buttery out of the oven. Her paper on partial differential equations went on to be studied and refined into what is now known as the cauchy kovalevskaya theorem. The cauchy kovalevskaya theorem shows the existence of solutions to partial differential equations that, before this study, were impossible to find. Augustin Cauchy was able to prove just one case for these types of equations, but Sophia was able to create and prove a theorem that was true for all cases of these equations. After many years of faking their unhealthy marriage, Sophia left Vladimir in 1883 to continue her studies in mathematics. It wasn't long after that when Sophia met playwright and novelist Anne Charlotte Leffler. Leffler was the younger sister of Gosta Middig Leffler, who taught at the university where Sophia was seeking work. Kovala Sky and Leffler became lifelong friends and by many accounts romantically involved. In 1884, she was appointed to a sub-professorial position. After five years of research, which included the contribution of the Kovalevskaya top, a completely integral formula for the motion of a top, she was appointed to a full professorial position in 1889 at Stockholm University. Sophia was the first woman to have received this position in Europe as well. Unfortunately for mankind, Sophia was not immortal. This superwoman's kryptonite turned out to be the flu. Sophia died in 1891 and is buried in Solna, Sweden. Sophia is remembered for breaking gender barriers for women in mathematics. The ON, or Association for Women in Mathematics, supports an international day of recognition for Sophia, where they recognize institutions who support women in mathematics with yearly donations. The ON Association also hosts yearly lecture series in her honor, which provides a spotlight on the contributions of women in mathematics. Sophia Kovalevskaya, everybody. Ah.